Hi, I'm Bob Birch, Web Technology Specialist with NDSU Agriculture Communication, and this is a short video to show you how you can record a screencast using Skype for Business or Link 2013 as it was formerly known and as it might still be known on your computer uh, if it hasn't been updated yet. So this is great if you want to show somebody how to do something on a computer. We've had an example in NDSU extension of someone using it to show families how to fill out 4-H forms. Uh, you might show them how to use a spreadsheet that uh, is used for budgeting or something like that. So anytime you want to record your computer screen uh, and instruct someone through it, that's what a screencast is good for. And Skype for Business is a quick, easy way to handle it. So how do you do it? Well, you can see I've got Skype for Business open here. And the first thing that I need to do is to go ahead and start a meeting. Uh, this is going to be a meeting that has only me in it. And the best way to do that is to go ahead and uh, click this little arrow right next to the gear here. And that'll give you our little our menu here. And we can uh, choose Meet Now. And our meeting opens up. We'd want to join that with full audio and video so we can share our screen and also share our voice as part of our screencast recording. Now, I've already got a meeting open, so I'm going to cancel this one out and drag this one over here so you can take a look at that. So now that I'm in my meeting, the next thing I want to do is to start presenting. And to do that, I'm going to click this little screen button here. It's the present button, and it'll give me some options. Uh, I can present a my desktop, that's what I'm doing right now. You can see my whole desktop. Or I could present a program. And I can choose from the programs that I currently have open on my computer. And if I do that, then the presentation will just focus on that program. The downside is if I want to switch from one program from an, to another, say I want to show a web browser, and then I want to go back and show Excel, um, I won't be able to do that. Then I'd want to be presenting uh, my desktop. Once you're presenting, you might want to take a look at a couple of things here. Let me get things out of the way here. One is your screen resolution. And the idea is to have the best screen resolution for a recording. And remember that um, the recording, when people watch the recording, it's probably going to be in a smaller window than your entire screen. So I've got a relatively big screen uh, connected to my computer. And so my screen resolution is pretty high. So I'm going to adjust it. And to do that, I just right click on the desktop anywhere and choose screen resolution. And you can see here it's mine is set to 1920 by 1200. And for me, and you want to probably experiment with this yourself on your own computer. For me, I think the best screen resolution for a screencast is 1280 by 800. It's sort of the balance in terms of things are big enough for people to see on the recording, but they're not, uh, they still look pretty sharp and pretty good. If I went all the way down to a low resolution like 800 and 600, things would be really big, but they also would not be very sharp. Uh, so I'm going to choose 1280 by 800 and click apply. So you'd want to do this before you uh, started your recording. I'm obviously already recording, so you see that little uh, blank screen for a second while my computer adjusts. Um, but you'd want to do this before you started recording your screencast. All right, so now we've got the screen resolution set right. Um, the other thing that we might want to take a look at is this bar up here. You can see it's blocking some of what uh, I might want to show people on my screencast. And so to get rid of that, it's really pretty simple. All you have to do is come up here and click the little pin here. And once you do that, if you mouse off of it, it disappears. And so now you you can see the whole screen. All right, so we've got our screen resolution set. We've gotten rid of that little bar and we're ready to start our screencast. So what we have to do is start recording. And to do that, you want to be in your Skype for Business meeting here and click this little button down here in the lower right. That's more options. And then you can choose start recording. I don't have that option because I'm already recording, but you will if you uh, if you're not already recording. And once you start recording, uh, it's going to let you know, hey, you're recording, and then you can start your screencast. All right, so now we've gone through our screencast and we're ready to stop recording. We can do that simply here. Just click stop recording. I'm not going to do that because it would end this screencast. And once you've uh, stopped recording, in order to get your screencast, uh, what you're going to do is use the same button again and go to manage recordings. And what that will show you are any Skype 
or link meetings that you have recorded on your computer. And you can see the one that I'm recording right now is still processing. And even if I stopped recording and ended the meeting, it's gonna take a few minutes for that to process depending on the length of the recording. But you can see I have some that I completed earlier here. So any of these I could click on and then go ahead and play them. Make sure they look the way that I want them. Um, or I could publish them. And what you do when you publish them is, and all you have to do is click on it and click the publish is you save an MP4 file to your computer. And now you can use that MP4 file to upload to YouTube. You could upload it to Vimeo. You could uh, add it to a Facebook post. You could email it to somebody. You've got it in a, in a video file format that you can actually share. So click on it publish it, save it to somewhere on your computer, and then you can go ahead and share it. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me or comment on this video, and I will uh, get back to you with answers as soon as I can. Thanks.